Hi everyone, Fretsky here. Welcome to another video. This time I will walk you through the deleting process of my i7 7700K. I use the Rocket Cool 88 deleting tool. I'll have the link in the description below. So the tool itself, it comes with two parts. Well, it comes with many parts, but the, the main two parts are the ones that hold the CPU and then the top part has this metal plate that's basically performing the deleting on the on the CPU. And there's some bolts and relating or alignment attachment along with and this it's called spider tool and that will basically relate the CPU. So the whole procedure is pretty simple. I had to insert the CPU in the bottom part of the deleting tool and there's a little triangle that helps you align the CPU. So after in inserting the CPU in in the tool, I had to put the top cover on, making sure that the little metal um, plate is fully recessed and lock the, the tool with three bolts and then finger tight the side bolt. So next with the supplied Allen key, I tightened the side bolt until there was this loud pop. So once you hear the pop, you can remove all the bolts, open the tool, and you're ready to remove the heatsink. And at this point, it should come off it pretty easily. And actually, interesting fact is that the PCB with the CPU die is so light, I actually couldn't believe it. The whole weight of the CPU is the IHS. So I kept the PCB in the tool. It was just easier to clean it that way. So I used the rubbing alcohol to remove the old thermal paste and for the silicone I used a plastic card. And then it, there's just really not much to it, you just have to scrape it all off. Like it, it, It's not really hard to do, so you can just go for it. Okay, so once your heat spreader and the PCB are clean, you can start applying the thermal compound. I think I've seen in some videos people using different thermal paste. It doesn't have to be the liquid metal. I use the Thermal Grizzly Conductor Knot. It came with some manual, these alcohol wipes, and then these special earbuds to, to kind of spread it on the die and obviously the the whole compound with the little nozzle for applying it. Now you really don't need a lot of of this liquid metal compound. But obviously I'm pretty heavy handed so I didn't so I probably used the whole or at least half of whatever was in the tube. And so I had to remove some of that. When I was done with that, I used the alignment tool and this allowed me to, you know, place the heat spreader exactly the way it was before the deleting. Just remember to make sure that all the little engravings of your model are not upside down. The next thing uh, I had to do was to put silicone on the edges of the heat spreader and I mean very little, I didn't use a lot. And once I did that, I used this um, spider. Again, I secured it with the three bolts and then there was one uh, bolt in the middle that basically applied the pressure on the heat spreader. And I left it overnight. I wasn't sure if, if the CPU will work in the morning, but it did. Now I did, I ran some ADA64 you can see it on your screen now, and I think the temperature went down between 8 and 10 degrees, maybe maybe a bit, bit more. So all in all, good results. 
So that's all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.